안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami, and today I'm going to be showing you what is on my iPhone 10X S. iPhone X. <laughs> I'm so uncultured. iPhone 10S Max or the iPhone XS Max. <laughs> it's like a tongue twister. So on my phone, let's talk about the back of my phone first. On the back of my phone, I have a sticker. It's one of our channel stickers that my artist friend from Instagram drew for us in like a sticker project that we were making for stickers for our channel. He's an artist in New York. He takes commissions, so order a commission from him because I love his style. This is one of the stickers, it's me and Michael. I just wanted to put us together in here. <laughs> this case I just got from like a Chinese phone store, phone case store. It's just a clear case. It's just completely clear. At the bottom I have a lanyard attached to my phone with this little gift that one of our viewers named Sadaf. She actually printed this at the library with a 3D printer. She like designed it on the computer and then she printed it. The S fell off from BTS. Thank you Sadaf again. And then I have like my neck lanyard. So sometimes it's easier when I need to be hands-free and then on my home screen I just have a collage I literally just made this collage it is using a BT21 background with a banner at the top a lot of moments that I really cherish and that are really memorable for me including people that are close to my heart and also I really look up to for inspiration in our work and had the opportunity to meet do you recognize anyone there's Michelle Fan at the top my friends there's Sachi Steven Rena synthetic doll Meej Muse Janet X Choco Bars Hajime Sacho, more friends, Letisha from Look Under Here, Wu Jung, also known as Amos, there's Avanti Stoga and Nado from Fishers, and then there's Chung Simur, the makeup artist, and uh, another picture with Michelle Fan, Jeffrey Fever, even though that channel's closed now, and then another picture with my friends. On my home screen, I have a Sakura tree, it's a cherry blossom tree, BT21. <laughs> In the first page, I have all of my standard apps that come with the phone. I kind of rearranged it the way that I like to use the app. And then on the second page, this is the only other page that I have. I have three boxes that I use to organize my apps. I just put emoji one, two, and three. <laughs> three like this. So you can see my screen. And in the first box, I have things that I check frequently. For example, my mail, Kakao Talk, YouTube, my Bible app, Line Messenger, Facebook Messenger, Facebook, and Twitter. And then on the second page, I have this cosmetology app. I'll show you what it looks like. It's basically like exam review, the state cosmetology exam to become licensed for hair. The app was like $40. You need to get 70% to pass. Then I have VLive, my church app, Snapchat, YouTube Studio. I open this app like multiple times a day and I read through your comments in order of submission, I guess, comment, regardless of what video it's on. Then I have this app, Kindara. It's a fertility tracking app. It's mainly to track your menstrual cycle. I use it to track my cycle and also I have the basal thermometer that I bought from the same company. It syncs with Bluetooth to the app. You're supposed to take your temperature every morning at the same time. You'll be able to track when you ovulate because your temperature will fluctuate during that time. Next I have my Discord app. This is where I talk to my MapleStory Guild members. <laughs> And then my WhatsApp, uh, and then the last page is some miscellaneous stuff, including a lot of BTS stuff. So I have my Superstar BTS app, which is a game built by Dalcomsoft, a company that does like rhythm games. So you can see here they have all of their songs. Okay, this one just came out recently. It's so hard. <laughs> I'll just show you an example of hard mode. If you want a hard rhythm game, this is it for you. Ishi, Sashi, Gunnit. So fast. So yeah, I used to be really obsessed with this game. I would play it like three hours a day. I only sign in like once every three weeks now <laughs> just to play the new songs. I have my Bitmoji, which is like super cute. And then I have my BT21 puzzle game. So every level will have like a mission like this. And then you have to basically get the mission cleared. So there are different characters you can collect. And then I have my remote desktop. This is where we put our uh, laptop and PC 
for me to be able to access through my phones. This is our PC and whenever I need to do stuff, I'll like open it here. Then I have my baby center app. This is where I track my pregnancies. Well, I only have one pregnancy right now, but I used this to track Zeke's pregnancy as well. And then on the second little folder, I have like things that I check often but not as frequently. So like my banking apps, Google Maps, Google Translate, more financial apps like PayPal and like shopping apps like eBay, movie theater app, manga app. And then I have my Korean drama app. Actually, it's like Asian dramas in general, but Vicky I use for watching dramas. And then I have some like other miscellaneous apps that I put on the last page of this second folder. And then my third folder is mostly for photography or photo editing. I have a Kira Kira app. This app takes any footage or you can film with it or take pictures with it. And it basically sparkles everything. There's different types of sparkling you can do. My favorite one in this one is Snow App. It just makes everything look pretty. So, hello. Yeah, I just feel like it makes you look nice. Anyway, it kind of smooths out your skin and it accentuates your features in a way that um, brings back the 3D-ness of photo. Photos are like 2D, they're flat. So sometimes when you take a photo, your face can look a little bigger and your eyes can look a little smaller and your nose will look a little bigger. What I like that the Snow App does is it actually puts like a really natural filter to make it like look good. <laughs> they also have really cute stickers that you can use. Just show your hand to freeze time. <gasps> they have cute ones like this. Hey. And at the bottom here, I have my Read Scripture app. This app I've been using to read the Bible. The narrators and the animation is really, really good. Like I really like how they do this. I have some more photo apps at the back. This one, Pixlr, I usually use this one just for collages. I like how it has these different options for collages. And one of the main things that I like on this one is being able to size the two pictures however you'd like. Then I have Photoshop Express, Photoshop Fix. I don't really use these apps, but um, this Panasonic image app is like a remote control of our DSLR. So here it shows like a live control, it can show playback and lots of different functions. We use this when we have to film something intensive and need to make sure things are in focus. Then we can like directly see on our phones if they're in focus instead of using the small viewfinder on the camera that's stuck to the tripod. Snapseed, I usually use it for editing. Like, okay, let's use this as an example. I'm documenting my <laughs> my acne patch. This is my acne patch right now. So I usually use this more mostly for brightness and contrast and saturation. So I'll go brightness, contrast, saturation and then it looks a lot less gray than the original photo. What I also like from this app is the healing tool. If there's something that I wanna remove, for example, this freckle right here, or like this broken capillary, I'll just tap it and then literally it's gone. Ooh, dry skin, goodbye. Ooh, unibrow, goodbye. Little stubble hairs and like, oh, too many freckles here. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. And then another thing that I like this app for is the selective option. So these are the main tools that I use in this app. Well, let's say this pink is like way too bright. I'm like, nope, I don't want that to be as bright. Then I'll select that color, select my range. So if I want all of the pink in this area to be affected or just this much, then I will select that. And then you can go and change the brightness, contrast, saturation, and structure of this area. So for example, if I want it less saturated, and then if I want it brighter, you can just change this one area. So that's super cool for like color correcting that I use. And then this app, Repro, I use it to take my Army Selka days, but I haven't taken an Army Selka day in like a half a year. So let's say I want to take a picture and I want to make it look exactly the same. For example, these ones I at the top, I made the pose exactly the same and the clothing exactly the same. So then I'll actually use this app to like align my face with Yungi's. And then take a picture. So it'll actually save the picture as a picture without the overlay. And that's basically it. That's all that's on my phone. It's 
pretty simple. And then I have Instagram at the bottom because I check it often along with all the other stuff in number one folder. If you would like a link to any of these apps mentioned, I'll try to link the main ones that I talk about in the description. Anyway, I decided to do this video because it was requested. I hope it was interesting. It's not really that much different from my previous phone and my previous what's in my iPhone video. However, I don't know. I feel like I'm very satisfied with. And look, the collage I just made is like so pretty. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.